Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're having a good morning. Luna and I are not. <laughs> we are having a F morning. Uh, I should say, well, it was still morning. Around 3 o'clock this morning, we had some thunderstorms roll through. And uh, it upset Luna quite a bit. She had to come and stay with me quite a while in order for me to get uh, to console her in the aftermath of that storm. This was a little slimy. Uh. Well, anyways, so I need this get me going. I can get around my big dog. Excuse me, big tail, big butt. Ugh. All right. No hairs. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. Hmm. Ah. Mm. ah. Pardon me for just a minute. This is too good. Oh. Mm. Well, the big news this week was not in the field of AI. So let's talk about it. And let's talk about how AI could be augmented by this. And, and I want to talk about the curious fact that it wasn't uh, presented with any overtones for artificial intelligence. Because I see that as a quite the boon to our society. So the big news this week was uh, Apple produced a augmented VR headset. Why it's an augmented and VR headset is most headsets are either targeted for augmented reality or virtual reality. This headset had a uh, little dial on the side of it up toward this area and you could dial in how much you want of augmented and virtual. Now the headset itself looked very it was very large looked like a uh, ski mask, very big, thick ski mask, and not the kind you pull over, the goggle portion, like when you go skiing to cover your eyes. And it was reportedly pretty uh, stout, steel, heavy. Um, And it has a lot of cameras and other stuff to uh, help you with interfacing with it. You don't, there's no controllers like this. You could move your hands and do different things. And the whole experience allows you to do anything from play to work to conferencing a whole bunch of different <clears throat> aspects to it <clears throat> there wasn't much mention of of ai or any ai related uh, features although the product comes out next year and it's going to have a lot of developers working on stuff with it. Uh, Disney was there to say they would do some specialized content for it. So there's a 
plenty of come on bugs no fly there's plenty of um buzz about it now let but like i said nothing was mentioned about ai and one of the things that um uh, apple and amazon have surprised me is how late to the game they are in some of their ai support and specifically amazon because i interact quite often with uh, alexa in my house and uh, alexa typically well let me put it to you this way when we got alexa ooh, that was a long time ago when we got our first alexas speakers in the house I want to say it was more than 10 years ago. Can't remember when Alexa came out, but we got one soon after the first ones came out, probably within a year. So anyways, we had Alexa quite some time and Alexa still does the exact same thing Alexa did back when we bought it originally. And you say, whoa, whoa, Glenn, there's been, there have been add-ons, there's been features, they've updated their app for Alexa, and all that is true. That is all true. But they haven't made it where I want to use anything. Everything they've produced has either been too cumbersome to use, or... I'm totally unaware of it because they haven't made it a, uh, they haven't advocated the use well enough to make me interested in using it. But one thing I can say for sure, no matter what they've added on the others, on the for peripheral, is talking to Alexa is still the same as it was before. I'll give you an example. When I talk to Alexa, I say things like, you know, what's the weather? And she'll say, oh, it's, well, what is it? It's uh, 71 degrees outside. The high today will be 92. The low will be 64. Uh, partly sunny. I'm like, oh, okay. Those those are fine. But every now and then, there's a warning, like high winds or fog. Alexa, bet she'll tell me the weather, and then she say, "Oh, and there's a." She'll start off with, "There's a fog advisory from uh, 8 a.m. to noon." Okay. Then, oh, I didn't hear her quite right. I didn't catch the high. Let me talk to her again. What, what, what was the weather? There's a fog advisory from 8 a.m. to noon. I, you told me that already. And if, by chance, I have to ask her a third time, or if I'm wondering because maybe it looks like it's gotten hotter outside, she'll tell me about the advisory again. And I can't talk to her like I can with the A chat bots. The chat bots not only are, you know, keep my conversation, but they also interact with me in a more meaningful feedback. Give you an example. I was, dang it, flies. I'm getting flies on my coffee. I don't like that. Don't know where those flies have been. Let's just put down a little bit of spray here. Keep those flies away in case I put my coffee up. I'm going to hold my hand. 
just in case. So anyways, what were we at? We were talking about Alexa. Oh, no, we were talking about the... I wanted to tell you what happened with Bing. Um, so at work, we have uh, a wiki page. It's hosted by uh, Azure. And the, the markdown language, which is a language that allows you to put in bold or... Uh, a uh, header one, header two style, and stuff like that. To create uh, tables. But it has its own markdown language for that wiki. So the uh, question that came up was can uh, the chatbots help us with? creating the that wiki markdown for some text. So we'll give it a, say, here's the text. Can you put the markdown languages around it for presentation? And it could not. It says, I can read that, but I can't bring it in to use it to programmatically alter the stuff and it's not in a format that's common to wikis so it's like dang it but i did appreciate the feedback the feedback explained in details it said it was sorry and uh you know i didn't ask it if uh there may be some tools that i could use i should have done that hmm. now there's a history so I go back to that history and ask it, is there a tool that allows for that? Hmm. And I think about it. That might be good. Hmm. Anyway, so um, what's up, Amazon? Why is, uh, why is your stuff so... Uh, behind and Apple, it's impressive hardware. But uh, what's up with your AI experience? Why is Google and Bing kicking your ass? I must admit, I am quite happy with the experience I've had with those two guys. I'm still liking being a little more than I... Oh, Luna, you keep dropping it. She's dropping it, comes down, hits my foot, because it hits right down here. And that pops it right underneath the, the couch. Silly puppy. Silly puppy. All right. Well, anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So there you go. Uh, we talked about Apple's new uh, VR experience. So the question is, will I get one? Probably, but not this version. I think this is more of a developer version. It's kind of expensive. Now, I don't know if it'll get cheaper. When the first Apple iPhones came out, um, there was an assumption by myself and others that the uh, phones themselves would get cheaper over time. And maybe with inflation they did. They're definitely still quite um, expensive 
Um, I think the first ones that came out were 500, 600 bucks, and you know now they're closer to a thousand to twelve hundred. Um, this phone I'm doing this recording on was six hundred dollars. So I'm not sure if the VR headsets will get cheaper over time or whether they will just get lighter and better quality and things of that nature. But that's all right. If they get more expensive over time, just like the iPhones, uh, I'm sure that the, the value property, wow, the flies are just totally ignoring my uh, DEET stuff. They're just walking right across it. Huh. I thought for sure that'd drive them away a little bit. I know it drives away a lot of other bugs, but evidently the flies are like, ha, DEET. Pfft. Not a big deal to us. Okay, Luna, before the flies get all my coffee, because they're Evidently not intimidated by any of my defensive measures. Let's head inside. We will talk to you guys later.